Schmidtke from Germany, who was the silver medalist in London in the 100 metres breaststroke. This is his preferred event. He'll swim from lane four. Bjornstad, who was a bronze medalist in the 400 metres free, and fourth at Worlds in this event, will swim in five. Liven, you can see on your screen there, was fifth at Worlds in this event. This is the only event he's entered in here at the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games and plenty for those German fans to uh, cheer for in this heat. Bjornstad, the Norwegian, you can see there, swimming from lane four. Van Hofwegen is in three, 19 years of age, and uh, Joab Belinsky from Israel is in two. Belinsky, Van Hofwegen, Schmidt, Bjornstad and Lieben in heat one. Slight delay at the start can be a little rattling for athletes. Shouldn't travel Schmidtke. He's very experienced at Paralympic level. So the men's starter, Barroso, just going through some final checks here. Quick discussion with the officials. And he seems to just be having a word with the German, Schmidtke about his starting position. Or perhaps just the position of his swimming costume. <laughs> you can see the funny side. Whatever that may have been, we may never know. Bjornstad there for Norway. Doesn't look too rattled either. He's happy to wait. Okay, so here we go. This is heat one of two. Men's 100 metres breaststroke. SB6 classification. And there was a very slow start for Bjornstad. He wasn't quick off the blocks at all. And as they break water, it's easily Schmidtke who has the early advantage. He'll start to build on this. If we look down the pool, in fact, he's already a full body length in front of Van Hofwegen, who's just to his right, and Bjornstad, who's to the left. Bjornstad now starting to find a little rhythm, and up in lane two, Valinsky, a sluggish first 50, but it is Schmidtke who will easily touch in at the wall first. It'll be a pretty tidy time, you would have to think, at the first 50. 38, 56, let's see how he builds on this through the second 50, but he's come off the wall extremely well. He had a beautiful streamline underwater and now he's about two to three body lengths in front. Yeah, indeed, he's, uh, he does have uh, a wonderful pull. Just the way he uh, uses the upper body, just gets the, keeps the elbows high, engages the lats and gets a great deal of power as he propels himself through the water. Also not the highest of strokes, but he is somebody who breathes on every stroke, which not all breast strokers enjoy doing. You'll notice Bjornstad on his outside will breathe every three or four strokes, but he's got a, a wonderful ability, Schmidtke, a great pull toward the wall. Well, the London silver medalist will easily touch in at the wall, winning heat one of two, and Bjornstad's had a good second 50, touching in third, and, well, there's a touch in it for fourth position, and it's a race against the clock in any case. The swimmers will have to wait and see the results of heat two. So it was Schmidtke in 124.61, a full four seconds quicker than Bjornstad. Van Hofwegen 131.12. Lieben 131.22. So he'll be hovering around a finals berth. And then Belinsky touched in fifth. Well, Schmidtke showing what he's capable of in the pool. Very streamlined in his approach. Manages to get some good power underwater. But a 
it really is down to the arm strength and technique of Schmidt goes and sees him touch the wall comfortably quickest in 124.61. looking very relaxed despite the delay at the start there's Bjornstad on your screen there also looking good already has a bronze medal in the 400 meters freestyle it was eight in the 200 meters individual medley so the early mark set in the first of the two heats 124 61 but remembering here in heat two 